Hey, welcome back to another gig log. This one is from Halloween 2021 at a wedding in Worcester, Massachusetts. Now, Worcester is the second largest city in Massachusetts, behind Boston, of course. Uh, it's kind of dead center in the state. And Worcester, it's, a lot of people have trouble pronouncing it. If you just think uh, Worcestershire sauce, and Worcestershire is another word that, you know, tends to trip people, people up. But anyways, it is pronounced Worcester. But if you talk to some of the locals around here, you might hear it. Hey, you going down to Worcester, kid? Hey, it's wicked hard to park in Worcester, kid. Anyway, so this one was at the John Higgins Armory in Worcester. And that was sort of a, it was an art, it was a castle, it was an armory, it was a museum. I think it used to be a school. Uh, it was kind of a crazy building. It was this real unassuming square building in uh, Worcester, sort of just outside of a residential area where it meets a, an industrial area. And it was an area I'd never been to before. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful place, you know, great entrance. I mean, it was very dark inside, but it was real, real cool. And like I said, it was sort of like a museum. And there was all kinds of different, I don't know, artifacts or uh, all, all kinds of cool stuff to check out. Now, I think it also, I think there was also space rented out to artists or, or, or something. Uh, because I kept running into kind of artsy people in the bathroom, believe it or not. And they kept asking questions about the wedding. And I thought that was kind of weird, and because I thought the only people in the building were there for the wedding. But uh, these people weren't dressed for it, and they had a lot of questions for the wedding, and they seemed kind of artsy. So that's the only thing I can assume, is that they were there uh, renting space, or for whatever, on probably the second floor, where the bathrooms were. Because that was the thing, the bathrooms were on the second floor, the whole reception was on the third floor. There were no bathrooms on the third floor, which, you know, kind of a pain. But anyway, you go up to the third floor... And, I mean, what a beautiful place. I mean, it really was a castle. And it was... Uh, what a weird room, though. With this large L-shaped room with enormous ceilings. And, it, like, it was a giant stone room. And so everything was very echoey. And, you know, sound just kind of bounced around the room. For the most part, you know, I was set up right in the... Right in the, the crook of the... You know, the angle of the L there. The, you know, the V of the L. If that makes any sense. But anyway, so the sound was pretty good right in front of me, you know, which is where the dance floor was. But if you went off to the edges, you know, the sound really kind of got garbled and was really kind of muddy out there. And so, of course, the ceremony was down one of those corridors, hallways. I don't know what, what do you want to call these, but down in that end of the room. And so I set up my bows down there. And so that did a pretty good job, and it filled in the sound for the for the people at the ceremony. Uh, I couldn't really hear it from way back where I was, uh, but everybody said it sounded really good down at the ceremony. And the bar was kind of just off to the right there. It was really hidden over there, because then everybody was sitting way down at the other end. Uh, it, it was a really strange setup, man. A real, real weird setup. But really cool place. So it was a real small wedding. Uh, I think it was only about 60, 70 people. And it was Halloween night, as I said. So a lot of people were dressed up real cool, man. Um, you know, the girls especially, they had, you know, real cool earrings and, um, like, spiderweb fishnet stockings. And everybody was, you know, dressed up real cool with cool hats. And, you know, it was real, it was, it was well-dressed for a wedding, but with a real cool Halloween theme. And um, I wish I took more pictures. I don't know. It was such a small wedding, I felt weird. Take your pictures of people. Maybe I shouldn't feel weird about doing that, but I wish I did take pictures of these, some of these outfits, because people look great. Now, I kind of see the crowd in the, in the, the bride and groom as sort of, I don't know, theater kids? Uh, emo? Artsy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. And I don't mean any of those in a bad way. I mean those all in a, in a, in a good way. Uh, I know back in the day when I was, coming of age i used to hang out with a bunch of you know cool artsy people in boston and they would all a bunch of theater kids too and they would do the rocky horror picture show in harvard square every saturday night you know the whole the whole thing at midnight and um it was a whole big to do to do and they would act out i don't know if anybody if you're familiar with a, a lot of cities have these with the Rocky Horror Picture Show where they actually have actors act out the the movie in front of the screen and there's toast and, and all the... I don't know, it's been a while. I haven't seen it in a long time. But anyway, that's what they used to do when I used to hang out with these cats. These people seem sort of like that. It's just a jump through the net. 
and um, you know they were into some pretty wild music, you know, but it was it tended to be more bombastic, theatrical, theaterish music or whatever. Um, and their favorite band was Ghost, and I actually played a, a, a couple Ghost tunes for them, and they they got down to that. <laughs> And the cake cutting was wicked, wicked cool. Uh, they used an actual sword to cut the cake. And a lot easier said than done. I mean, they definitely were kind of struggling getting it done, but it, it was awesome. And apparently that sword had been used by friends of theirs for two other weddings. And so theirs was the third and they're gonna pass it on to their next group of friends or their next friends they are getting married from their, from their group of friends. Really cool little tradition that they've started there. And let's see, the food. The food was all vegan, which was cool. Uh, there was this cool barbecue broccoli or cauliflower thing that I ate. It was pretty good. I'm a kind of a carnivore, but it was it was it was good stuff. Can't complain. Uh, beers. There was a nice selection of Victory ales, and they were very good. Bartenders were cool. So anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, peace.